question four asks us about a confidence interval for a proportion, and it is already given to us in the form of p hat plus or minus, so what we're looking for is the margin of error. And the margin of error for a proportion is z alpha over 2 times the square root of p hat times 1 minus p hat over n. Where, of course, p hat is the sample proportion of successes. So it's x over n, the number of successes divided by the number of trials. In this, um, in this example, x is the number of successes, which is 120, and n is the number of trials, or 200. So if we divide 120 by 200, in this question we're using a p hat of 0.6. Okay, so for a margin of error we need the p hat. We know that n is 200, so we still need to find the z alpha over 2. Okay, so as a review, remember that first we find alpha. It's how not confident we are as a decimal. So 80% confident, 20% not confident. The subscript is alpha over 2, so we need to find alpha over 2, which is 0.1. So we're looking for z alpha over 2, which is z of 0.1. And the way we found this on our calculator was inverse norm of 1 minus the subscript. So if you do inverse norm of 1 minus 0.1, or inverse norm of 0.9, on your TI 83 or 84, we get Z of 0.1 equals 1.282. Okay, so now we have everything we need to, um, to plug into the margin of error formula. So my margin of error is 1.282 times the square root of P hat, which is 0.6, times 1 minus P hat, 1 minus 0.6 is 0.4 divided by n, and n is 200. So when you put this in your calculator, be very careful with parentheses to make sure everything is multiplied and divided before you take the square root. Okay. So when we do 1.282 times the square root of 0.6 times 0.4 over 200, I get the final answer of 0.6. 0, 4, 4, 4 as my margin of error. Therefore, my confidence interval, my confidence interval now is 0 0.6 plus or minus 0 0.0444.